Guess what I got from Kitty Bus? Here you go. I got I uh, a souvenir. Uh, it's an emblem of the nation. Uh, so uh, this a heart shaped emblem, and you see uh, coral shells uh, surrounding the the emblem with uh, the word uh, Kitty Kitty Bus. Uh, it is uh, it is written as Kitty Body, but it is pronounced Kitty Bus. You have the bird. Uh, the sun and of course uh, the, the blue represents um, the ocean All right, so finally my final full day here on the island has arrived and uh, tomorrow I am leaving uh, Tarawa Kiribati uh, Returning to Majuro in the Marshall Islands. I don't want to leave the nation So that sends you the message so uh, Kiribati is a very enticing nation in the central Pacific and for many reasons, okay. One, uh, one of the main reason uh, is uh, the people. The people are very hospitable, very humble, and uh, give them a smile. They will return a massive smile, and uh, have a conversation with them. They will start a conversation when you um, you start a conversation. They are a little bit shy, and they will try to, their best to speak in English. Kitty Boss is a former. Um, a uh, United Kingdom colony, that's why a lot of people okay, know English as a second language and, but they are pretty shy to start the conversation. Alright, so my final full day has arrived, as I said a while ago, so I am uh, returning to Majuro tomorrow uh, in the Marshall Islands and I'll be there for five days and uh, celebrating uh, the new year and leaving the island back home on January the 2nd. So about Kiribati, it's a very fascinating nation in the Pacific in which I'm pretty, no I'm pretty sure that not a lot of people out there know that Kiribati actually exists. It exists. Uh, go get a massive world map and then look for a dot in the Central Pacific in the international dateline and you will see uh, sets of small coralline atoll islands in the Central Pacific in the along very close to the international date line. Or another way is to use technology. Go to Google Map or Google Earth and then uh, type in uh, Kitty Bus and you will see a dot and a zip it in. Okay, slowly, slowly, one by one, you will see uh, how spread the 33 island atolls that comprise this uh, nation. And uh, Kitty Boss, together with uh, other small uh, nations in the Central Pacific, including the Republic of Samoa, as well as as well as uh, Tuvalu, uh, in in the in the Eastern Hemisphere, they are the first nations to experience uh, sunrise on a daily basis, as well as the New Year, because they are very close to the international deadline. All right, so finally. So my uh, my first uh, my, uh, my my remaining hours are uh, dwindling down, and this is a nation that definitely I will uh, return. And uh, my heart belongs to Kitty Boss, especially when I see the the lives of the people. This is a nation when you go, it will really touch your heart because okay, you will see how you know you will. In my case, I appreciate myself more than ever. Uh -huh. after seeing the, the situation in this nation in spite of the economic condition uh, the limitation of supplies in this nation because there are very very hard to reach nation almost all goods are in, are uh, are imported from other nations and they depend on water as their uh, main source of economy uh, of course they uh, they do a lot of fishing a lot of them are seafarers as a matter of fact, so today when I went to the parliament uh, building, uh, where the uh, it's about it's about seven kilometers from here, so I had a, a great conversation with one of the, of the fishermen. They just caught a massive, a massive. Uh, uh, they call it a milkfish, right in the middle of the lagoon, and it's their meal. And basically, uh, there is a very limited supply here in this nation. Uh, they depend on water as well as a little bit of agriculture. As a matter of fact, agriculture is not much because one major concern of the nation is the salt water intrusion. So there's a lot of coconut trees here, but uh, but there's some areas where you will see the coconut or the coconut trees are dying. 
because of the salt water intrusion as well as the rising of the of the of the sea water and uh, I see you uh, I see you as I um, uh, explore uh, the the island of Ta the, the island atoll of Taro. I went to both the uh, to Bethio as well as here in uh, in, uh, in in Bairiki, which is in the southern part of Taro, which is the capital city. You see lots and lots and lots of massive uh, sea wall, and I I don't know how long will okay will this sea wall last. And the people are constantly on a regular basis. Uh, trying to put it up once it's been destroyed by the waves. Also, uh, people here hand in hand are planting mangroves uh, to avoid uh, further erosion okay, due to the uh, to the tides of the ocean. All right, so uh, I would love to encourage everybody when you are considering uh, the travel in the Central Pacific, consider Kiribati and see for yourself how beautiful the, this, this nation is and how resilient uh, the people here in Kiribati uh, on, on, a daily ex, on their daily existence depend on nature as well as um, whatever they have in their surroundings. All right, so as a member of the global community, so I think uh, after okay, actually seeing uh, what's happening in the nation, we have to be very conscientious on the things that we use and as well as um, uh, the resources that are available for us because uh, we have uh, so much things to offer in this uh, small island nation and these nation. You will see there is a lot of help from other nation including uh, Canada, of course, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Taiwan and I believe the United States as well. And there's a lot of aid in Japan, so they, they, they receive lots and lots and lots of uh, aids from the nearby nation because Kiribati or Kiribati is an island nation in the Pacific that are in dire need of help primarily because of the, uh, the remoteness of the nation. Uh, it's very hard to reach, but when you go here, so you're helping the nation in their tourism. All right, this is Arnel. Signing out from uh, from Tarawa, which is uh, the main island atoll here in uh, Kiribati. As the saying goes, traveling is uh, not arriving to a new destination. It is looking at the world in a different perspective. All right. So uh, I bend happy New Year to everyone. So I'll see you in uh, in Majuro. I'm flying to Majuro tomorrow, which is uh, the Marshall Islands. All right. Bye for now. Keep a smile, and the world will smile at you. Cheers.